This episode of Ghost Attack brought to you by The Secret Thing. What's The Secret Thing? Find out right now by giving us your sweet, sweet email address at yellow420.com slash new secret. Secret Thing. You want to know what it is, right? Okay, now everybody applaud like I just came on stage. Okay, click, 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 click. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry. Hey, it's, it's me, the hype man. No, oh, no, no, hey, it's not, no, it's no, not no, a no, rave. No. Like, this is a corporate upfront. Oh, no, no, no. They, they, what? This is, all right, they, what? They, I don't, they that's like hype man too, don't like, they? I don't even know what that was. <laughs> Steve Palmer's out there in front. He's <laughs> like, oh, are you all ready for the ghost attack upfronts? I was, well, I can't hear you. I was thinking more like, like, uh, all right, I was, so you want me to have bomber energy? Well, uh, well somebody's got to have bomber energy. Okay, I mean, these are right. these are there our investors, go. right? Well, yeah, I guess I was thinking more like like I would I would start as awkward, and then you guys could could come and talk about the things that are that are going to come talk oh, about it. Okay, okay. In that case, we're so still that, back. I, I didn't want to blow it out with my okay, energy. No, 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 like, okay, I'm like, okay, okay. like 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 yeah. I see. Yeah! Okay, so all right, so so. Podcast! <laughs> <laughs> so, so instead, 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 because that's high energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so instead, here's where we're at. Okay, there's a mer- that, that, that still is confusing. <laughs> I don't know if you're a Pixar character or, or the sound man. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> the sound or man, a very, just, or yeah. a very adorable kitten, like. There's a murmur. <laughs> there's a murmur in the ballroom. There's been a murmur in the ballroom. I said murmur. There's a murmur in the ballroom, and the lights have just gone up and down, murmur kind of, kind of like flashing. Perhaps, not you know, just three times, blink waiting politely blink a few blink minutes, and then three more blink times, blink and then blink finally, yeah. the the lights dim. Uh, and 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 uh, Ario Speedwagon that has been playing at twenty yes, percent volume exactly. yeah. fades out, yeah. and then and then uh, and uh, 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 using a guy to mic off yeah. off camera, somebody who is me says, "Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you, Justin Robert Young." Oh, wait, no, 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 hold on, wait, wait, no. Then somebody like runs. You can see like some 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 oh, kerfuffle some, some, on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here's <clears throat> apologies. Replacing Justin Robert Young, now presenting Ira Sockman. <gasps> Massive applause. Yeah. Like very happy. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. <clears throat> Hello. It is I, your attorney. Ira Sockman. Yeah, you said the thing! You're doing a great job. Amazing. I couldn't imagine anybody doing anything better. Pretend I'm not here. Yeah, no rocks in this sock. <laughs> Am I right? Ira Sockman. I'm glad that everybody for Ghost Attack and Night Attack and NSFW show and BB Live show have gathered here for our new summer upfront presentation. It, this is our way of, <laughs> of explaining the fact that we have two simultaneous projects oh coming God. out. So smooth! The, so smooth! Stop at the in. same You're time. You're so smooth! Who let, and this, so, who let, hey, who let this guy in? And, <laughs> and so we now have to find a way. I'm loving SFW! He had like four drinks. <laughs> I saw, he just wouldn't stop. Play BB Live Show! Uh, the BB Live Show. Can somebody yeah, please yeah. escort the buck out? <laughs> <laughs> Game on too soon, R.I.P. Uh, first, to talk about the first project we have coming out within two yeah. weeks of each other. Yes, yes. Is the newly released trailer for World's Greatest Con. <clears throat> uh, to, to talk about that, here's uh, Brian Brushwood. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Think of a car. Think of a car. <laughs> If you're thinking of a car, you're a chump one. and a fraud, no! and you just got conned. No! That's why our new project is called World's Greatest Con. And guess what? You can listen to it right now. You can download Did you it. just do it? Right onto your phone gotcha. by going to yolo420.com slash new secret. Give us your email. Listen to the first, uh, uh, what, do, what do we end up deciding? The first six minutes of, of episode one, basically? It is the first six minutes of episode one. With one change, and that is that 
We I don't left. specifically name a date. <laughs> yes. There is an initial version of what you can hear where Brian at the end says, uh, I'm Brian Brushwood, and we're on a quest to find the world's greatest con. And then there's a pause because initially we had the date that we were launching it. Yes. And we are still planning on launching it on that date, but we are currently in talks with people that might want to buy it. Right. And so we don't want to hamper that negotiation right now and so date one <clears throat> the quest begins on date two okay i literally <laughs> the quest there begins is, there on is an actual date three there is an actual <laughs> thing that i would like to play if it weren't reveal all the dates that we're planning on watching it but maybe at some point there's just there's a lot of like behind the scenes stuff with world's greatest god that like i've saved so many clips of <laughs> random things <laughs> That some will be released, some won't. But there's so we're, I, yesterday. There's a certain super cut of me saying a certain uh, person. Which you thing. hear, you hear. <laughs> all right. So this is funny. <laughs> so you got to watch out for these guys, folks. These two are live wires. <laughs> <laughs> so as you hear in that first six minutes, yeah, uh, everything builds to this moment where Brian. <laughs> Uh, uh, reveals that our first season of World's Greatest Con is going to deal with Operation Mincemeat, which involved fooling Adolf Hitler. Right. And well, who's that? Yes. <laughs> of the Connecticut <laughs> Hitlers. <laughs> I, heard, I heard that guy was up to some bad stuff. <laughs> All right. To the two best comments that have come in, one on the SoundCloud, <laughs> like, holy shit, Hitler's in this? <laughs> and then the followed up by Kuan saying, it's a great brand. <laughs> yeah, for being, for being aided. And then uh, the other one on the Discord, which is Hitler, you bitch, we conned your ass. <laughs> what really should Shockingly be the name of the show. To. Really should be the name of the wow, show. Wow, really unfiltered stuff from these guys. Isn't that yeah. great? Let's give, let's give them a round. <laughs> um, so what's 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 the idea? What are we doing? Well, here? Hold on, hold on. Let me, Can let I interview? Let me, get, let me get this out. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Now we're just talking, and then we'll go back <laughs> to this conceit, <laughs> and then and the then we'll, can come back at any time. And then Anytime we can bring the bit back. So Brian is recording that, and this was months and months and months ago. And uh, for whatever reason, you kept anchoring yourself on the phrase Adolf Hitler. Yeah. Well, Adolf, the, Hitler. Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler. It was, it, it was it was my resetting energy for the last known safe point uh in, in the script. And yes. so uh which happened to be Adolf Hitler. Uh, turns out I had to reset a lot <laughs> in that first session. Paging Dr. Freud. So literally, just a, I put together a super cut of all the times that Brian said Adolf Hitler in that recording session. And then I said it to the Mr. Belvedere theme. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, so, no, there's a lot of funny stuff, including the last thing that we did was just for that thing where I just kept giving Brian dates that we might launch it on. Right. Uh, and then eventually just wanted to see how far I could, I could push eventually it. Eventually he says August 15th and I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> what, I, what I really wanted to get to was New Year's Eve 1985. <laughs> <laughs> just to see how far into Ron Burgundy territory I could take Brian and just telling him things and having him repeat it. It's well played. You 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 did get pretty far. But uh uh so that's the first six minutes of episode one. If you like that, you will like the episode. If you are intrigued by that, you will probably like it. If if you want to hear the Adolf Hitler super cut, then get on that email address. <laughs> Yellow420.com. Is that, is that, that that's new, gotta be an exclusive. Is that the new just, yeah. that's, I want everyone to remember this was Brian's suggestion. It was Brian's idea. Oh, yeah, I'm not saying we'll give it to you. I'm just saying if you, if <laughs> that's you want the only to hear place it, it will show <laughs> that's up. the only way you'll hear it. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, what, what can we say? That is the project that Brian has only been allowed to say five words about. So, that is. Yeah. So, 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 so how project. much there will be? Yeah. What, what, what are all the things we feel comfortable saying? I, 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 man, I'll tell you what. It feels like in so many ways, it's just like uh, you didn't realize you were holding your breath and you finally get to just. Yeah. I think we can say, look, it's going to be a four episode first season with a with a mailbag episode. All four of the recorded episodes are already done. Um, a bunch of people in their reactions on Twitter uh, accurately pegged that it, it's got a very raise the dead flavor to it. Uh, but it but it's yeah. but it's about cons and and really after doing two seasons of raise the dead crystal and uh this 
what it really kind of has revealed is sort of the dog and pony show sound the dog and pony show production style there are Your things that i like production yeah brand, there, there yeah. are things that i like doing and that that will kind of define the stuff that, that that we do and and i will say this uh uh this more work has gone into this than anything i've done including raise the dead uh uh brian is exceptional on every bit of it the writing i think uh was made truly collaborative and and great in terms of everybody working together how long were you guys polished we've talked to, on after things about your process of record it yeah re-record it re-record it how long has that re-recording process been going a few months now at least right uh I, I mean we recorded the very first thing and i believe there are pieces of those very first recordings that in are still in heard, there in what you heard in that secret clip yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I, that would be back in january i think because i think it was in december that the whole project began with you calling me and just asking hey what makes for a good con and i was like oh well it's the fact that the con man you know does all the hard work and then it's really the mark that fools himself and i started to like on my second sentence and justin says stop talking press record on your phone just record yourself talking about it and then and then separately the way i remember it is uh, on a different phone call you called and said hey just asking what's the world's greatest con greatest con of all con time and i'm like oh well it's got to be this one uh, where they fooled uh, adolf hitler and uh, there's a book about it uh there's this or whatever and and the way i remember it is you're like cool i'm gonna go read that book i'll be right back <laughs> And then, and then basically, uh, and then, then and the, after that, everything became iterative uh, to to what the final project is. Is there is there an or, o, an older creative kernel to that? What what got you into that headspace of how to what why focus on cons? I was, why focus I was on wrapping up world? I was wrapping up Raised the Two, and I really wanted to put effort into production for things that I'm not doing. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's when I called Brian and I was like, I mean, essentially the kind of pitch was, hey, if if, you know, like you like Raise the Dead and Brian's like, yeah, I think it's great. And it's like, do you want your own? <laughs> what if you could what tell if, an amazing what story? If, right. Like, so what? I love political <laughs> history. What would be your thing? Hmm. Oh, and it have to be scams and cons and deception and self-deception and all that stuff. Exactly. And that's when I asked you, OK, so self-deception. Uh, oh, I mean, it's the only kind of deception there is, is, there uh, go. yeah. Uh, and then, and that's when I asked you like, all right, so what's, what's like the greatest, like, like we, we need a story. What's like elections are easy because everybody remembers that there's elections and we still care about them. And there's, you know, prominent modern examples. Uh, uh, what's the, what's the, what's the greatest kind ever. <laughs> and, and Brian said mincemeat. And so I was like, cool. And I read the book and the book's amazing. Everybody should read the book. We rely heavily on the book. Uh, in 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 the series, but uh, what came from that I, is, I think, what made it special. Uh, where it wasn't just sort of a book report with sound effects, um, but I would say, yeah, I was trying to think of when the beginning of it is because so much of the pandemic year just kind of like yeah. especially in Oakland where the weather doesn't really change all that much. Like, there's really not a lot of difference between July and December. Uh, <laughs> So I would say, I remember I was working on episode two uh, when I came back from Atlanta after covering the... It would have been around February? That's July. Or? No, sorry, January. January 6th. Okay. So that was right after the new year. So I would say we were probably working on it through November Holy and shit. December. Yeah. Yeah, that wow. Right. So that, that makes it uh, at almost seven months long, seven months long. This would be the longest Brian Brushwood has ever <laughs> kept, kept his secret. fucking mouth shut about <laughs> anything. <laughs> and, and, and even then, By the way, a Andrew, lot of people have a lot of text messages. Andrew <laughs> Maine has now his favorite thing over the last few months on weird things is whatever Brian, <laughs> Brian does this thing where he'll just like kind of slowly look at me and just be like, well, I don't know if you have anything that you would like to talk about. He's like kind of shrugs his shoulders. And Andrew Maine's new favorite thing is watching my 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 glaze go from like a smiling to like the ice you cold like motherfucker. No. Don't you fucking do no. it. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> it's been hard. Uh, it's been really, really hard. And and maybe we should we could deconstruct that aspect of things because. Um, we uh, previously it would have been nothing but like we're making an album we're writing a book yeah. we're doing a whatever but but um uh for for those who are curious what motivated the uh we don't uh, we're straight up fight club in this shit nobody you you don't say a fucking word about it you want to know what auntie donna really auntie donna was the reason why and it's partly because i very much appreciated the fact that like they are a muerta when it comes to their projects, like they just don't do shit until they have something to show uh, that's finished, like all their YouTube stuff. They don't mention it all their they, their Netflix stuff. They mm -hmm. didn't mention it. There Mark was no did a show for uh, uh, Mark did a show that Netflix picked up this year that like came out in Australia years ago. And I don't know that they ever talked about it much until it just now. No, came no, on no. It, was like, it was fairly contemporaneous. Like it came oh, out like it? two months before uh, it, oh. it was on Netflix. Yeah. Weird, they, they, they plugged it once, but they only plugged it once it was like right. airing Done. on, on Australian television. Uh, but yeah, they, I've always just admired that, that they have that commitment for comedy, which it's like comedy very rarely has that like there's nobody would be uh pissed off if the uh, uh i think you should leave cast were like taking pictures on the set in fact it'd be funny and exciting and and great but like they have that commitment to keep that under wraps and i was like you know what like i i want to see what that creative process is if like there is just a different thing and also i just know that i work less hard when i'm taking out a future loan on the credit that I'm going to because get. What, what happens emotionally is when you share what you're going to do, this is, this is why so many people love to tell you the thing that they're going to do because they get to say they're going to do a thing and they get to see you say the words, Whoa, that sounds awesome. You're really great. That sounds great. And then they get to feel as if they had done anything yes. without actually doing anything. Yeah. And then guess what? That thing never happens or, it, it, you know, it eventually limps across the finish line and goes nowhere. And so uh, uh, it, it, it has been tantric for me to keep my mouth and shut. That, the other thing is I wanted to make sure that you had a full case of bullets to to launch it. Because right. I know that launching things and getting the word out and marketing is something that you think a lot about. And I know that it was acting for you right, to preserve all this excitement and hype and quality until we could actually use it and put it out there. And so like now the reason why it's out now is because we both agreed that it would be worth it at this point to gather the email list right. because like we're it's look, and, 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 and by, by the way, uh, full transparency, um, the, the asking for an email thing, um, <clears throat> uh, even more powerful than, uh, I don't know if we want to talk biz, uh, I think total, uh, I've managed to collect about 130,000 emails over about 25 years of, of work. I, yeah. I started passing around loose leaf, you know, papers to, yeah. to give away books at the end of stage shows, um, uh, all the way back then. Uh, that's the big list. And that mostly has become marketing for new gizmos or stories or just in general. It's a very it's it's the loudest megaphone. But I don't see action on that email list. Anything like there's another email that's about 5000 people strong. And those are people who signed up when when Tom Merritt left Twit and we announced that frame rate was going away. And if you wanted to know what was coming next. Yeah. Uh, like that open rate is bonkers, like 80% open rate and 80% click rate or whatever. Yeah. So uh, 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 the ability to like, like it occurred to me yesterday, okay, this is how young all of this is. 24 hours ago was when I realized I need to know who is willing to, to press a subscribe button at the exact right moment and is willing to likely to tell one other friend to do the same. Right. Yeah. And so, and so we got to that point where it's like, okay, uh, we're going to start setting this up. Uh, are we ready to share or at least create a pathway to share what we've been up to? Uh, and we started announcing it and it's been fun on Twitter to see the reactions. Uh, uh, and, and also it's been fun to see people signing up on, on the email list. Uh, if you're on the fence about it, understand the reason that that frame rate 
email list is so important. I, I almost never, ever use it because the more you use it, the softer it gets yeah. or whatever. Uh, 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 this is very similar in that uh, uh, the next, uh, the, the emails will be kind of, uh, 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 here's what you can expect. Maybe this Hitler super cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, streaks on the channel. <laughs> yeah. Never uh, got it before. Uh, next Who reward cares? will be uh, us touting that episode before the podcast is even out. Episode one will be available in some secret location. Yeah. It'll be the email list that finds out. When we do go live with the RSS feed, because what matters is everyone clicking subscribe at roughly the same time. Uh, it'll be it'll be uh, what that means is when we go live, it'll be both episode one and episode two will be in this, the feed from day one. And 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 now keep in mind, that means we're giving up a lot of views. That means we're giving up a lot of traction. But our goal is uh, by the end of episode two, I really think it's very difficult to not be fully invested and, you, and, and you, to be you, you all the way to in on the all story the moves that we make, like we make different versions of the same moves as we go forward. But like in terms of what makes the show special, you don't get all of it in episode one, you get the rest of it in episode two. So when you listen to Correct. it back to back, you'll, you'll really understand it. And what we, what we want to do, and this is another thing is like, we want to push this as high as we can on the charts. And, and ultimately it's like the goal here is, and that's the reason why we don't have a, a launch date right now is that either we are partnering with people who regularly dominate these spaces or we are dominating these spaces by ourselves. Uh, and that means having a big fat, hairy RSS feed with a big old download number that uh, we can then a launch more projects right. and we can continue doing greatest con. And, Part of that also means like uh, basically we have a two week window because there's launch day where hopefully everybody hits us. It starts off with a bang. Yeah. Uh, and then one week later, we get to do episode three. One week later, we get to do episode four. A week after that, there'll be some kind of mailbag. The mailbag you know, episode. Whatever, yeah. you know, uh, talking through or what ended up on the cutting room floor and why. And it'll be interesting in its own way. But. That's two weeks where we're still gunning for that top 10 position, which means uh, if if you guys want to play uh, the game uh, in the Discord of uh, Brian is, as of now, available for appearances on any podcast you want, assuming it has a real audience. Uh, like, wow. like, as I would say that, like, uh, like, <laughs> I, uh, before this project, I couldn't imagine reaching out to the Joe Rogan team and trying to justify going on because I wouldn't know what to promote or what my story would be. Uh, am I there for explaining what Modern Rogue is and also Scam School and also the comedy show and also and also and also? Yeah. This is the one project we've ever put together where it's like it's a very simple narrative. You are at the end of the bar with Brian Brushwood right before closing time. Yeah. Brian Brushwood, who has a 25 year history as a raconteur, knows a lot about trickery or whatever. He's two beers in and he's telling you the best con of all time. Uh, that's a very simple narrative. And that's all I want to promote or be or do or say, or, or as if, if, when we do whatever the tour is to promote this thing. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, I, I, boy, the next time that you hear an announcement about this, it will hopefully either be, or it will either be a launch date or an announcement on a partner. And, and that's, that's pretty much all we can say there because that's still in flux. But, uh, just know this, if you are wondering when the launch date is, if we are in pre hype maneuvers, then extrapolate how long you would imagine that that is from the launch date because it's also, probably around there. Get v very that email sh list shortly. relatively shortly is yes. the answer. Not yes. the, not the ghost attack <laughs> almost, <laughs> almost but in time for August. All right, so that's it though. Like that's the reason why ghost attack is, has stretched longer than we intended it yeah, to. Because for, Justin kind of moved halfway across the continent in the middle of all in this. In the middle of doing episode 
three. three. I think we were yep. finishing episode three. And then, and we didn't get to, and we, I mean, I was and terrified. I episode four here. And by, by episode three, we had shared it with enough insiders and we had gotten, and this will unfold over time. We had gotten to our eyes, some fairly extraordinary responses to the first three episodes enough that I became terrified about whether or not we were going to be able to land it with episode four. Yeah. Uh, but we did. But we did. Cool. Uh, Yo, bring back the sock puppet. Uh, the, the, uh, thank you. Thank you. World's greatest con. And now what you have all been waiting for, the diamond club, uh, upfront presentation for the latest and greatest iteration of the Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young Tuesday night comedy experience. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Great, great, great Night. Great, 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 oh, great, shit. Great, you just dropped that. <laughs> oh, damn. I didn't no. see that coming. And then, and then it's a big montage and everything and like boom, 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 boom. But uh, yeah. I God just damn. Just he just dropped it. Just a fucking mic. I didn't know this was coming. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. That's, uh, yeah. that's the so, new title. Uh, uh, yeah. 2.0. Uh, uh, sorry. This would be 4.0. 4. 4. 4. <laughs> 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 Brian and Justin 4.0. 5.0. Uh, uh, was what a uh, uh, game on? <laughs> well, that was that was that was, a, that was a, yeah, or whatever. That was, that was a DLC. That, that, yeah, that was the uh, the, the Windows NT. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, dude. Uh, uh four is going to be called Great Night. Uh, we want to lean in heavy to uh the Diamond Club experience. Um, it uh, uh, I I suppose spiritually what we're aiming for. And we'll, uh, is to, we want to look like nothing else on Twitch and we want to capture what it felt, what it feels like to be at, uh, you know, when we're at Dragon Con live on stage, like the, the whole thing is we're here together and yeah. let's change things. So we're not two heads in boxes. Bryce, Bryce was seated. really the one to crack that too. Uh, when we were, mm. when we were first going over stuff, uh, Brian and I had a bunch of ideas and some like esoteric stuff, but I think both of our heads were still very much in the like wrapping up of, of world's greatest con. And as mm -hmm. like Brian and I are just babbling like, like Furbies about like, like what we want to do. Bryce is like, mm -hmm. like, Oh, like a live show. You just want to do like a live show yeah. on, on Twitch. And we are like, yes, yeah. <laughs> which like, uh, you know, I think I said it at the time, but like I, I, I needed an anchor like that. Yeah. You know, I went I, part of me taking time off was to kind of give you guys some kind of free open space to think about things, um, you know, in terms of big ideas and stuff. Um, and then I also came for Justin back. to move to Austin. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, my time off was after, but uh, yeah. Right. Um, yes. Uh, uh, and then and then to come back from that time off and be like, yeah, we were working on Greatest Con the whole time. So, <laughs> um, uh, so it was it was very helpful to kind of figure out like uh, more than just we want to look like not Twitch or we want to look like a TV show or we want to do this or we want to like all these little things we want to do, but needing a through line, needing like a concept or or you know something to that. So um, that's that's kind of where we're at right now is to try to capture. The, the kind of unique energy from when we do night attack when we've done night attack live and other live events. Uh, and I, I, uh, I think in general, people have said nice things about the audio only iteration of ghost attack or whatever, but, uh, I'm sure there's some people who are impatient for us to get back to doing, uh, you know, the, the big show I, I think, or whatever, yeah, I but, think, I think, but, yeah. but, but I do want to say, um, it has been absolutely invaluable to figure out what other types of things we're capable of doing by doing ghost attack. Yeah. So, so, so as practice runs for, okay, what is this flavor? What is a uh, uh, happy hour uh, as, as uh, you know, yep. born out of misery 
brought a, a unique energy uh, that was different from uh, the main show. And, and Ghost Attack has brought a unique energy that is independent from the main show. And now as we figure out, like uh, now we're looking at our, our tool set and it's like, holy shit, there are tools that have never been here. Us going and just straight up interviewing David Comey yep. for an hour, like, uh, wow, a new new tool added. And and I think all of that is going to contribute to to some something really special. Uh, I think visually what we did, we spent the weekend kind of going over some, some visual ideas and actually shooting and setting stuff up. Like, uh, uh, we've got a rapidly evolving set that will be you know, uh, re ready or not on display. Uh, when we, when we go live on Tuesday, June 29th. Um, and oh and shit, did you just drop a specific date? We, we, said, that last that. Week. we said that last week. Oh. We've, that's been the Twitter name for yeah. like, yeah, a week okay. or two. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, hooray! Yeah. hooray! Yeah. Um, and and also, I had a funny thought the other day, uh, which is you know we're 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 taking the former night attack and we're we're building on top of it in a lot of ways. Um, but I did have the funny idea that like the one thing that people who listen to podcasts like especially don't like is live shows. <laughs> They, uh, they routinely it's oh, like yeah. across every podcast yes. that's the thing everybody can find comic oh, but i hate they did a live i hate the live but shows. because because the audio sucks usually that's that's why the and, people and also usually they, the pacing that, gets that, screwy because you have to sit and wait for applause or 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 the cheap yeah. pops or whatever but uh, I, but but in any case this is all to say we are building on the structure of what it's not going to be something you've never seen before like you're you know you don't understand what i'm saying like it's yeah it's gonna be a pod it's gonna be no, a no, no. this from, will be i think the idea is we were just thinking what, what bryce was kind of genius to put a put a, a a pin in was we were trying to think when are we together at our most electric and bryce saying the live show is kind of immediately just sort of for both of us brought to mind all the fun times we've had at Nerdtacular and Dragon Con and mm -hmm. Create Con and, and all the yep. other fun stuff that that awesome energy, like us standing on top of the tables and doing half the show, standing up there, like uh, uh, the random interactions with like the crowd. And granted, the crowd stuff is not going to be there, although maybe a limited studio audience at some point. But like yeah. uh, the idea of Brian and I standing there and even when we were doing the visual tests over the weekend it just felt right for us to be up there bullshitting and making eye contact and, and having elements of physical comedy. Like there's, there's a lot there. And, and beyond that, the, the structure of the show will be very similar, uh, heightened to, uh, with, with the you know, sweetened to, to ways that I think will just sort of make it Everything more of what everybody likes getting looked at and polished. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and um, um, uh, segmented uh, and and thoughtful. Uh, there's right now. There's pretty much three buckets in the way we did Night Attack. We did a a block was always I don't know. Got anything going on? Kind of. Maybe I, I do. I maybe say, I don't. That that there was that that was not a widespread problem. Cor uh, correct. But like but, like but, I know but, we did have a couple of episodes where that kind of happened. But that would. But in general, we it, usually had we, we we usually showed up armed. But right. But, but, we but, did a good show. Yes. We did a good yes, show for yes. no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes. Not, <laughs> yes. You are correct. But but now I know we were in boxes but, and on but, the but, but now <laughs> now good. we uh, uh uh the the intent is for the A block to we we intend to approach the A block heavily armed yeah heavily armed i think i think bryce is right <laughs> we did a good show and now we're going to do a great great night, night. yeah That's oh, oh the by idea. the way name change can we, can we real quick say like i guess somebody at some point said man i really love your show night attack i don't know that i'm comfortable wearing a shirt that just says the words night attack yes when <laughs> when i made those hey. kind of blue 3d looking diamonds the back there's a little back print yeah. right above the uh, on the nape that says night attack and I definitely got someone who's like I don't want to wear something that says night attack on it. I'm sorry like it looks great it looks yeah. great but I, I don't so uh, great great, and I think great like Brian came up with great night and I was very surprised looking it up that there was not a lot of something other, yeah. like good night like there are bars multiple bars in Austin that are called good night 
Right. Um, like, but, but great night is not very used. That seems uh, fucked up. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. cause if you go to sleep at a bar, you're kicked out. <laughs> kicked out. Right? Like, so yeah, why would you want a bar night. night? Good night. Why do I get a bar <laughs> that is all, like, is that their zag? Like we'll let you fall asleep here. We don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, uh, 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 it's also reminiscent of, of one of our favorite moments, uh, uh, to wallow in, you know, the, the still, Harvey, still, still a great still night, a great you know, night. Yeah. And, and it, uh, that's so on brand for us. Like, even if things go terrible, it's still a great night <laughs> is, is, yep. is very approachable. If there's one thing that you should think of when you see Brian and I, it is out of date yet enduring memes. <laughs> that, is, that is what we are personified. And that's what we, that's why we are, we are naming it a great night. Uh, but yeah, I think that there's, it's the first name of a show that I've liked. <laughs> 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 like BB Live Show is like, well, cool. Brian's doing a science experiment, so right. he labeled the beaker BB Live Show. Right, and then it was NSFW Show, and I'm like, well, that's a little it's weird. Lit. Why not call it Warning, Toxic, Poison? Do not yeah, open. Exactly. <laughs> to and call then Mr. Yuck. And but then, I bet on Twit that was like that was an attraction point. Oh, oh yeah, I bet for them. You for scroll them. over all yes. the shows. Oh, one's called NSFW. What is that? Exactly. Right. Porn? Oh, no. Uh, we, it's we just have, we actually, white guys. In, in fact, there was a brief moment where I tried to talk them out of NSFW being the name of the show. They're like, no, no, no. Really? We, we, we like that as a name. And and uh, yeah. And then right. Night Attack famously was then, a joke it because it that was the be... only name that we thought was worse than NSFW show. And right. then that became the name of the albums, which then became a name of the podcast. And so... Uh, uh, this is this is a rebrand. I think it's a good name. I think you guys are going to like it. I think you guys are really, really, really going to like the show. And I think you guys are really, really, really going to like this. Uh, how you get the show. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. are we going to talk about the philosophy, the the epiphany that that that, that struck you? Uh, have you heard this yet, Bryce? Uh, I love I this. I believe well, I was I think, at we, I think the conversation. Was, I think it was it, a three-person but... conversation. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, so as it is now, Bryce, mm -hmm. you can you can probably fill this in. Yes. How how do people get the show the 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 Tuesday show? Right. So the way show, you would get show Night Attack. Show. The way you would get Night Attack uh, is if you were on Patreon, you would get the audio for the pre-show and then the regular show and the after show, kind of all when it in all one drops. thing. In one, yep. the, uh, and then on the public feed, you would get the audio for the main show when it came out, and that would normally happen the like video. like. 24 to 48 hours after uh both of them would be about 48 hours yeah 48 so. hours um, yeah uh and then if you if you wanted to see like the video of the pre-show or the after show well then you'd have to go to youtube through yeah. patreon we got links and stuff um a, a little a little kludgy yeah um and you know we we've gotten requests over the years for like hey can we is there a way to, to consolidate to this a little any? simpler well there is friends what? uh uh with great night on the main feed. Oh, this for is free. Uh, oh, you're, you're jumping ahead. I I, I was is wanting you to talk through the uh, the metaphor of what the different things are. But but uh, oh, because yeah. I love that. That yeah. was that was that was mind exploding. I think we need to. I think we need to figure out exactly what we're doing on those fronts before okay. we before okay. we go over it. But okay. uh, uh, yeah, on the main feed for the people that are listening to the audio podcast, this is going to affect you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, Wednesday. And hopefully Wednesday morning, when when the episodes come out, we are going to and I want to make that Wednesday and not Thursday. Uh, you are going to get in the feed pre-show show after show for free on the main feed the day after we do the show. Just this, just audio, just to remind people previously, the it, it's been a patron. Get patron only thing. Yeah. Now, all of a sudden, it's uh, it's it's Boom. uh instead of and just one long event it is now three discrete programs yes. that we're doing so we're well, tripling yeah. yeah um and and also that's not just for audio we will uh, be looking at reconfiguring the video, the video feed feed or feeds probably consolidating them down a little bit but having a video option yeah. on a public rss feed uh, sorry i see someone's hand up 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 in the back uh, yes uh, uh you sir the one that looks like uh, uh yeah, he's from south texas uh, East Texas, uh, I got a question. Uh, sounds to me like all of a sudden, all the patron benefits are just suddenly going out to everybody. Why should I bother being a patron? 
That's uh, a great question. Thank you, sir. Well, sir, uh, I, I thank you for your enthusiasm. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, Can we just take his mic? Yeah. <laughs> Can we just, let's just nip it in the butt. <laughs> uh, the reason to become a patron now, mm-hmm. uh, because I very much believe, I mean, we, we set up all these things so long ago, and we're going to be changing all the text on the Patreon page as well. But uh, I don't think that delaying things, delayed release stuff is really just a good idea in general. I think that exclusive stuff is just is is a better benefit for Patreon people. Right, right now, we have made a point to say that there is a, a main show feed every week and then there is a Patreon show feed. That will continue. So not only will you get a, a pre-show episode, a show episode, and an after-show episode the day after the main, the big Tuesday event, but just like uh, we have been on Thursdays, you're going to get your bonus Patreon only episode mm-hmm. then as well. So we are not taking anything away from anybody. In fact, we are putting more things on on the free side. We are tightening that ship up. We are we are making sure that everybody gets this and they can be as enthusiastic about these things as quick as as they deserve to do it. Not only watching live but also on the audio feed because uh, uh, we really, really, really want to take care of you. Everything that we have thought about with Great Night has been how can we make our audience that we have right now happier first and then thinking after we have served you guys, our masters here, uh, uh, how, how can how we then we also, also be, be more approachable? Yes, but, right. but just know this is we you guys eat first and that's why we we had the realization to just be like you want to know what no three bullshit. episodes on on wednesday on the public rss feed boom 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 easy to find easy to listen to mm-hmm. uh and and also they'll feel a little bit different because what we we're we're, we're thinking about doing is having our, the pre-show be something that happens that feels a little bit more ghost attacky, right? Like this, and mm-hmm. and then uh, uh, the, and the the show live on on Twitch. Uh, oh, uh, the pre-show will be live a part of be a part of that on Twitch, yeah, but is will be the the kind of live show, big time, big top energy, which we already had. I think with Night Attack with with the pre-shows, which were a little bit mm-hmm. looser and everything. So right, now yeah. we're just trying to again where everything that was there. Let's Polish make it on purpose. Improve, Let's yeah. build on top of. Right. Uh, 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 pre-show will have, a, a, I think a, it's not tipping too much to say, a much more deliberate energy, you know, a, a little less wandering in and out and grabbing drinks and sodas and hold yes. on a minute and I'm going to go peas and all that stuff. And a lot more like Ghost Attack. Uh, and considering we're recording this right next to a bathroom, when we go pee during the pre-show, you'll probably be able to hear it because yes. that's not very well insulated. <laughs> yeah. You can definitely... Definitely here. <laughs> they had to put a they had to put a thing on it to, so it would shut. It would open itself. <laughs> so, you can hear a termite an stream in there. <laughs> uh, yeah. So so uh, the goal was is uh, uh, because we we've really made the effort to listen and things we've heard is I'm afraid I like this part of it. I'm afraid that part might go away. Yeah. And so it's like well let's let's you know, pay attention to what those things are and just do all of them a little bit more on purpose yeah. and uh, 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 better prepared, uh, which I know everyone's like, I don't even know you anymore, man. And then in terms of 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 time frame, we've you know, we've said June 29. Um, a lot of that is is physical stuff. We have to we are building a new set and yeah, and moving tables and we're we're moving enough stuff around where we need time to make sure we don't break we have everything. To buy stuff. We have to buy we have, yeah, we have stuff. Physically moving stuff around in in the studio, and then also uh, uh, just schedule wise, I'm in New York uh, <laughs> uh, on on the 23rd, so it's like the only other week would be to do it on the 15th. Then like that would be That's really lame. Week. Yeah. If if let's say we did it and then we're like. Big energy. Yeah, this is amazing. Also, no show next week. So, <laughs> right. uh, so, so, so yeah. all of your megrims and complaints, just, you know, talk about them constantly for the next two weeks <laughs> so that we can obsess and freak out about it. So exactly. That'd be great. I have nothing to say about this. <laughs> so, so, yeah. But, uh, so, so that'll be, that'll be the idea is that we started on the 29th and, uh, 
That's that's, that's the idea. Yeah. That's uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have two projects: world's greatest con, great night. World's greatest con, great night. I think you see where this is going. I'm leaving. Bye, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Iris Sockman. Yellow420.com uh, slash new secret. Sign up. Uh, and is, New Secret is World's Greatest Con. That's yeah, World's Greatest Con. Because now we have two, we ha, we previously had two unnamed things. And yes. so I know, I feel like last night when the email list was going around, there was like, I had to be like, this is not the pot. This is, this, this not, is not, not Night Attack. No, Night Attack. This is the yeah. secret thing. The thing I wasn't allowed to talk about. But Everybody knew we were doing a new version of the show. We're also hiding that name. But yeah. we were also yeah. hiding yeah. that. Yeah. So. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. yeah. For, for like, that's the problem is that like, we're such leaky sibs about yeah. everything that the, the fact that we were keeping a secret is shocking. The fact that we were being well, able two. to do wield secrets, <laughs> like, <laughs> was just absolutely insane. And I think obviously that's, that's part of the, the reason why I think, Folks, you know, even uh, I, I had one of our one of our dearest, dearest uh, 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 part of our communities texted me last night because he didn't want to put it in the discord. Oh, no. But he's like, uh, uh, yeah, the world's greatest con is uh, uh, how Brian and Justin were able to work a lighter podcast schedule <laughs> and still not lose money on Patreon. <laughs> uh, and I pointed him out gained money. Yeah, on I was Patreon. about to say. Uh, <laughs> but also, I will say, uh, trust me. This was probably the hardest, I think, that Brian and I have worked together on yeah. things. Like, I think we we are in daily conversation working on this and even other stuff that is behind the scenes. Uh, so uh, uh, there's a lot of stuff coming out now. There's a lot of stuff coming down the pike after this. Like uh, uh, the the era of a lot of things is is dawning and upon us. And hopefully now you guys can see. The reason why it didn't a just get rebranded can attack yes. any time of the day or night. The reason this immediately didn't get rebranded and we just started right back up again right. was not because we were stroking it. Like we, we literally did not want to do that. Yes, we specifically wanted to not do that. We, right. Yes, uh, and and it's because we wanted to put effort. We the, wanted to make sure that this was that world's greatest con was right. We wanted to make sure that great night was right, and we feel now that they are both in the position that we can talk about him. Uh, I mean, greatest kind is done, but, but great night mm -hmm. is in a position where like, you know, we were up there last Sunday doing like a fake little show and mm -hmm. we we're like, yeah, lights here, that there cameraman, we're, we're, we're ready to go. Yeah. Uh, uh and, uh, I, if, if it's not already abundantly clear, uh, uh, our goal was to take a moment and do a little bit of, palate cleansing so that we could come in, um, uh, you know, uh, hard and with enthusiasm. And, um, I know not everyone has loved waiting. Uh, <laughs> no one likes waiting. No one and, likes and, waiting. But, uh, uh, I, uh, everybody's patience has been very deeply appreciated. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, guys, uh, uh, ab absolutely. And, um, where are we at time wise? 47. Uh, okay. Yeah, so that's wow. Well, right. Yeah. That was that was a good upfront. Good upfronts, everybody. Yeah, good upfronts. Uh, well, uh, uh, we love here. you guys. Uh, well, usually uh, upfronts here. are to not like sell here. advertising, so it's like we oh, should. Yeah. If anyone wants to give us money, uh, 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 Patreon.com. Oh, yeah, slash I guess night Patreon. Attack. Yeah. Night Attack. Oh, oh I guess we'll have to figure we have all to that stuff out. Yeah, we might have to change that. Right. But in the meantime, hey, it's been real fun to. I can actually buy another URL. That's what I did with politics. Politics. Like my Patreon for that is still patreoncom slash jury So yeah, that's fair enough. Boner Wars. Dot com doesn't work anymore and i'm very upset because that was my go-to to get Wars .com. Wars .com. uh it's it's been a lot of fun to uh just be in the discord more often and and uh, uh, uh thank you to everybody uh, well you just like being in the discord more often because you know that everybody's getting presents for christmas and you're just like yeah. you just roll in you're like i don't know maybe that train <laughs> set will show up at santa's uh, on, on time well, thank you to everybody who's 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 uh, uh, been there. No, yeah, it's uh, uh, guys. Uh, uh, we've worked really, really hard to make good shit for you. Uh, we really feel strong about it, and that's that. That's that. That's all that. right. Hey, when can a ghost attack? Any time of the day or night, even after the new great night. 
Oh, that does, that's not a rhyme right when you say the same word twice. Really that was like right. an Ozzy Osbourne great. line. You're doing great. Okay. Not I'm here, not here. Not here. Not here. <laughs> <laughs>